Phew. Man, work was exhausting today. Oh, is that Angelo? Maybe he's having lunch in this park. All right, time to do this again. Such a pain. Always packing these cheap things. It's just extra baggage. Isn't that the lunch Lisa made for him? What's he planning to do? Why the heck should I eat this crap in broad daylight? To the trash you go. Bye bye. Ha ha ha. Feels so much lighter now. What? He threw away the entire lunch. What? Why? My name is Lisa, a full-time housewife living with my husband, Angelo. We spend our days harmoniously without any significant fights, and we often go out on dates during our days off. Sometimes, when Angelo has to work on weekends, I enjoy my time alone. We've been living a carefree and happy life. Then, one day. This is for my mom. She said it's some sort of side dish. She asked me, make sure you give it to Lisa, okay? Wow, a homemade side dish from Auntie. Thank you, Noah. I'm so happy. You brought my mom's favorite snacks the other day, right? This is her way of saying thanks. She didn't have to do that, but everything she cooks is so delicious. I'm thrilled. Oh, I'll make some tea. Angelo should be home soon, so feel free to relax. He is my childhood friend, Noah, from kindergarten. We live next door to each other, so he sometimes drops by like this to share some food. A little while later, Angelo came home. I'm home. I thought those were Noah's shoes outside. Oh, hey Angelo. Welcome back, I'm just dropping by. Good evening. What brings you here today? Welcome back. You see, Noah came over to share another one of Auntie's side dishes. Oh really? Thanks as always. I feel bad for always receiving and not giving back. No worries. It's my mom who cooks it after all. Oh, if it's ever a bother, let me know directly, okay? Please don't hesitate to say so. After chatting for a bit, Noah left. Receiving these shared dishes was far from being a bother, in fact, they became a reference for my daily cooking. Today's lunch was super tasty. Did you add something new to your repertoire? I'm glad you noticed. Actually, yes, I did. I've been thinking it's impressive how you always have different side dishes. Because you've been working so hard, I felt inspired to improve my cooking skills. I'll do my best again tomorrow and make a delicious lunchbox for Angelo. Little by little, my cooking repertoire expanded, which was incredibly helpful. The variety of dishes for lunchboxes and even dinners increased, and Angelo always smiled with delight. It was on one such peaceful day in the afternoon. Noah, what brings you here today? Another share from Auntie? No, not today. I came because I have something to discuss with you, Lisa. I felt I needed to tell you this in person. So, here I am. In person? What do you mean? Honestly, I really wasn't sure if I should discuss this with you. But I thought it'd be better if I take the initiative and tell you now rather than letting time pass. I've never seen you look so serious. What happened? Well, the thing is, earlier when I was passing by the park... Noah hesitantly relayed something to me. Hearing it, I was so shocked that I just stood there, stunned. According to Noah's story... Let's see. These are all the ingredients, right? I didn't forget to buy anything, did I? Phew! Man, work was exhausting today. Oh, is that Angelo? Maybe he's having lunch in this park. All right, time to do this again. Such a pain. Always packing these cheap things. It's just extra baggage. Isn't that the lunch Lisa made for him? What's he planning to do? Why the heck should I eat this crap in broad daylight? To the trash you go. Bye bye. Ha ha ha. Feels so much lighter now. What? He threw away the entire lunch. What? Why? Angelo dear. Sorry to keep you waiting. No worries. I just got here myself. Thanks for the delicious lunch today. Just had it a bit ago. The lunch you make is truly the best. Yay. I'm so glad. I woke up early and worked hard on it, after all. So happy to have outdone your wife. Ah, if you were my wife, I'd get that amazing lunch every day. Heaven. Then, why not make me your wife soon? What the? I do that right now, but I'm still making preparations. Can you wait a bit more? Okay, but you better ditch that lousy cook of a wife soon. Being with me would make you so much happier, don't you think? 
I know. That's why I'm working hard on things here, just be patient a bit longer. Got it. So, where are we off to? What will you buy for me today? After their conversation, Angelo and a woman named Isabella left the park hand in hand. Noah told me he had witnessed everything. I was initially shocked, but then anger took over, and I devised a plan. A few weeks after this incident. Hello! Lisa! What's the meaning of this? What were you thinking? Oh, Angelo, calling me during lunchtime? That's unusual. Is something wrong? Stop playing dumb. The contents of the lunchbox. Why did you put a bunch of photos inside? Are you talking about those photos where you're all cozy with a colleague, hugging so tightly? Or the ones where you both look like lovebirds, kissing? Yes, those. How did you get your hands on those pictures? Because of what you did, I'm in deep trouble now. Oh dear, my apologies. I just never expected you to open the lunchbox. Stop acting. You know I'd open it when it's lunchtime. But you always throw away the lunch, right? So, I figured you wouldn't open it in front of others. How did you know about that? Thought I didn't know. Sorry, but I'm fully aware. Also, about the trouble you mentioned, that's all on you. Take care now. Wait, Lisa. Angelo was still trying to say something, but I ended the call and turned off my smartphone. A few hours later. Hey, why'd you turn off your phone? Are you messing with me? And what the hell was in today's lunchbox? Oh, isn't it a bit early for you to be back from work? Who cares about that? What was that thing in the lunchbox? It's obviously the evidence of your affair, Angelo. Isn't it clear from the photos? Affair? I don't recall having an affair. Really? Because I have a lot more pictures like that one. Are you still going to deny and say you didn't cheat? These photos, they're probably edited, right? I get it now, Lisa. You want to divorce me, so you made these fake photos, huh? That's not it at all. Whoa! Ha! Huh. Noah! Why are you here in our house? Noah is the one who told me about your affair. He happened to see you with that woman from the photos at the park the other day. Not just the affair. I also saw you throwing away Lisa's homemade lunches. I thought you were an honest guy, but you're really the worst. What are you talking about, Noah? Did you mistake me for someone else? I always eat the lunch, all right? You eat the one made by your mistress, don't you? You've been throwing away the lunches I made for you in the park trash can every day, haven't you? Hold on! I never threw away any lunches. Then what about these photos? You can clearly see you're throwing it away. What's with these photos? Who even took them? Who could even take photos that look this edited? My husband, perhaps. Who are you? That's my sister, Mia. And just so you know, she might not look it, but she's a top-notch lawyer. Lisa hired me. We're going to be suing you and that woman for damages. Damages? Actually, I had consulted Noah's sister, Mia, about this matter. Angelo, not expecting things to take this turn. Damages? This is a joke. I won't pay a cent. Keep talking. We've got plenty of evidence and we're fully prepared. Besides, you're in a position where you should pay the damages. So don't act all high and mighty. Position? Hey, Lisa, you won't make your husband pay damages, right? We're a married couple, so I shouldn't have to pay anything, right? What are you talking about? I'm going to divorce you, Angelo. Divorce? That's not like you, Lisa. Are you joking? And besides, Isabella and I are just having fun. We have no strings attached. So, I have no intention of getting a divorce. I heard your conversation at the park. You want to make that woman your wife as soon as possible, don't you? Come on, Noah. I wasn't serious about that. You know I wasn't. And Lisa, don't be fooled just because Noah's your childhood friend. I only love you, Lisa. So, you believe me, right? Stop playing games. What's gotten into you? It's not just the affair. It's also that you threw away the lunch I woke up early every morning to make for you. I don't want to be married to someone so thoughtless anymore. You've got it all wrong, Lisa. I admit I threw away the lunch in the park. But that time, a huge piece of trash fell into it and I couldn't eat it. Do you think I'll believe such an excuse? 
No matter what you say, my decision to divorce won't change. What's with that attitude? I'm being so humble and trying to talk this out with you. Instead of showing remorse, Angelo snapped back defiantly. Watching this, Mia, are you out of your mind? Saying you're doing the favor of talking to us? Considering the situation, you should be the one grateful we're even facing you and talking. Enough with the noise. I have my reasons. What? Because you ate your mistress's lunch and you were too full to eat Lisa's? How is that a reason? That's just you being selfish. Ah, I get it now. Ha, get what? You, Noah, you're in that kind of relationship with Lisa, aren't you? That's why you're trying to pin all the blame on me, make me the guilty spouse, push for the divorce, and... Once it's done, you're thinking of marrying Lisa yourself, right? I'd throw those very words right back at you. What? If Lisa and I had that kind of relationship, you're thinking your affair would be justified, huh? If Lisa and I were in the kind of relationship you're implying, we wouldn't be going in circles. She'd divorce you immediately. True. After all, you want to marry that Isabella woman, right? So, since both of you would be having affairs, it'd be an even split. Divorce without paying damages. That's exactly the kind of moves someone like you would make, right? Really? Just because Noah's sister is a lawyer, you're thinking of exploiting that to divorce me, huh? Yak, you're so dense. You're the one who had an affair. That's why Lisa wants a divorce. And we're going to seek damages, which is why we consulted my sister. Were you even listening? But, Noah, you come to our house sometimes, right? When I'm at work, aren't you too free to have an affair? Don't lump me in with you. With my mom next door, eyes wide open and watching. Do you really think I could pull off an affair? Angelo tried to tilt the odds in his favor by fabricating an affair between me and Noah. But since there's no truth to that... Look, no matter what, Noah isn't the type to do such a thing. There's no guarantee of that, right? Maybe you just see it that way because he's family. There are heartwarming stories about childhood friends getting married, but Noah would never lay a hand on someone's wife, and there's no way Lisa would cheat. Seriously, as her has been, you can't even grasp that. People's feelings change. Who's to say Lisa might not cheat someday? This guy's hopeless. Tell me about it. Because you cheated, that's the only way you can think. You want to remarry her, right? Then, by all means, she's all yours. I'm practically ready to gift wrap her for you. It was just a fling. Lisa, rethink the divorce. You'll regret leaving me, trust me. I'd regret staying married to you more. What's with that tone? I don't want a divorce, okay? Because if it comes to a divorce, you'll have to pay alimony, right? And that would be troublesome, huh? What the? Well, you'd know best about that, wouldn't you? Not at all. I'm riding high in life right now, and my job's fulfilling. Then you shouldn't have a problem with divorce, right? But that would be a problem. Oh, really? If your job's fulfilling, then your income should be stable, right? If it's stable, you should be able to pay the alimony just fine, right? Of course! But I'm saying I won't divorce because I love Lisa, that's all. So there's no issue with divorce, right? Then can you sign this divorce paper for us? Upon seeing the divorce papers Mia had prepared, Angelo exclaimed, Please don't divorce me! The truth is, rumors about me and Isabella are spreading in the company. Things have gotten out of hand, and everyone's been giving me dirty looks every day. Come um, so what? So, if this continues, I might have to leave my job. If that happens, I'll be unemployed, with zero income until I find another job. So please, spare me from the alimony claim. No way. I'll make sure you pay. Thinking you can settle this just by apologizing? How naive can you be? Geez, throwing away such a delicious lunch. Looks like you've added the curse of the wasteful ghost on top of everything. Stop with that talk. I'm really not good with that sort of stuff. Don't worry, ghosts and such are invisible, right? Maybe they'll appear if you take a selfie. Eat! Geez, are you the weakest of all primates or something? Weakest or not, please spare me from both the ghosts and the divorce. I admit everything. Discarding the lunch made by your wife and eating the one made by your affair partner. Do you have any idea how much that hurts your spouse? I'll be claiming alimony from your affair partner as well, so make sure you both pay up. 
please. Don't divorce me. Don't leave me, Lisa. Don't act all sweet and charming now. Especially after talking about how excited you were to marry your affair partner. From now on, I'll make Lisa happy and never throw away her lunches. I don't care anymore. Why don't you just enjoy the fancy lunches made by your affair partner? I'm really sorry, Lisa. I messed up. Please forgive me. I'll never forgive you. Ugh, I'm so angry. Just get out. All right, one person is leaving the building. With pleasure. Wait, wait. Please really spare me. Never show your face to me again. Bye. For good. Afterwards, I divorced Angelo and, with Mia's help, received alimony. Angelo and Isabella continued to be glared at disapprovingly at their company. The work environment became unbearable for them, so they both resigned on their own terms. Both of them were disowned by their parents, leaving them without a home to return to. They decided to live together to save on living expenses, but neither of them could handle household chores. As it turns out, the lunches Isabella provided were just lavish bento boxes she bought from department store basements and repacked. Their laundry piled up, and their apartment remained a constant mess. In this way, Angelo and Isabella led a miserable life in a one-room apartment, working non-stop and constantly arguing. As for me, Ah, uh, that house has been standing since our grandparents' time, hasn't it? I have to do some extensive repairs, so I'll be staying in a weekly rental apartment for just two weeks. What? Why don't you stay at my parents' place then? My mom would be thrilled. Cough, cough, cough. What are you saying, sis? All right, you'd probably be more excited than mom and won't be able to keep calm. Wait, my presence unsettles you? I never noticed. I'm sorry, Noah. No, no, not at all. I mean, I'm totally calm and comfortable around you. This is going to be a long journey, isn't it? Huh? A journey? Ah. Uh. It's not far from here at all. Please come and visit. Hang in there, Noah, you'll need it. Mia's remarks had some deeper meaning, but at that time, I didn't grasp it. Little did I know that I was destined to live in this house in the future with a loving husband and adorable children. I couldn't even imagine such a blissful future at that moment. Who that husband would be, the answer was waiting just a little further ahead. To ensure I greet that wonderful day appropriately, I've decided to focus on what I need to do and give it my best. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.